The New England Patriots and Tennessee Titans are two of the worst teams in football, but sometimes you can make money in the darkest corners of the NFL. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoy this content, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already, and post your NFL Week 9 picks in the comment section. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So, we lost a heartbreaker last week. We had the Bears laying two and a half. Uh, we were on the wrong side of that Jaden Daniels Hail Mary. Not much you can do about that. We'll move on to this week, and we have a strong play for you in this video. We've got New England at Tennessee, 1 p.m. Eastern kickoff from Nissan Stadium. Titans currently minus three and a half. Total sits at 38. Like we said, two of the worst teams in football. Titans, the worst team in the AFC at one and six. Coming off a 52-14 drubbing at the hands of the Lions. They were overmatched on both sides of the ball. Uh, no surprise against a team like Detroit. Looks like Will Levis could return at quarterback. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for Tennessee. I guess it's about equal, but... Uh, Levis does give that occasional 36 points to the op opposing team. On the other side of things, we've got the Patriots sitting at 2-6, and six, basically fighting for draft pick positioning. However, they did snap a six-game losing streak last week against the Jets, 25-22. Quarterback situation murky on both sides. Uh, Drake May may return from the concussion. I just think the quarterback uh, affects the Patriots a lot more than Tennessee. So we're going to stay away from the Patriots side of things. Just kind of focus in on this Titans offense, who Levis isn't the only player dealing with injuries. Tony Pollard, Tajay Spears, Tyler Boyd, all missed practice on Thursday. All questionable. And that's their two top running backs. They're, you know, one of their top three receivers. If they're missing these guys or missing some combination of them, they're going to be obviously even further limited on offense, and they need all the help they can get. They've scored 17 points or less in six of seven games on the year. The one time they went over was 31 against Miami. Now they have to deal with this post-Lions hangover, and it's real. Teams, the week after they play the Lions, they just control the trenches and beat up on opposing teams. It makes it really hard for these teams afterwards. Every team, the week after they play the Lions, has struggled. You look at the recent totals, Minnesota 20, Rams 10, Denver 7, Arizona 14, Seattle 20. So none of those five teams have uh, cleared 20 points the week after playing Detroit. And we have offenses listed there that are superior than the Titans, hands down. I think New England is going to lean on the ground game here, regardless of who's at quarterback. If it's May, they don't want it to get hit. If it's Brissett, they need the running game to stay competitive. Uh, they just held the Jets to 22. I don't think the Jets are great, but they're better than the Titans. And we got a Titans team total that you can get at a reasonable price at 21 and a half. I'm surprised by that number at minus 125 at DK. I think this is a rock fight, a low scoring uh, ground type of game. And with the Titans dealing with injuries and dealing with that post Lions hangover, Going to go Titans team total under 21 and a half as our official play. Guys, you can get 30-day NFL uh, passes over at Sports Memo right now for $129. It's about $4 per day for all, all the NFL action. Or you can get an all-access pass uh, 30 days for $239. It's about $8 per day. You get all sports, including the NFL, NBA, we're number one so far in 2024 in the NBA. We're 3-0 we're and o in the NHL. We've kept it really low volume, kind of just picking our spots, but we've hit three plays. And we've also cashed four of our last five college football plays of the week. We just put out one play a week, and we've cashed four of five. We're 19-7 uh, and seven all time on those. So I would encourage you guys to go check that out. I always have free plays uh, posted at Sports Memo or at X at Steve's Book 22 if you guys wanted to follow me. And uh, you, if you're looking for my official plays, like I said, over at SportsMemo.com, there's a link in the pinned comment. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button on the way out. Titans team total under 21.5 is our official play. Good luck this week.